Welcome back. It's hard to describe the level of excitement high schoolers feel when the start of the season draws near. Yet imagine all of that build come crashing down on you. That's the unfortunate reality Wasion's Caden Clymer had to tackle. He deserves this. An impact on the field, never a doubt. I know. But to do so without pads on, that came without warning. It started on August 1st. Um, his dad took him to the emergency room. He was having severe pain in his back and legs. I was a bit confused. I didn't know really what was happening. And he just told me that he was just wasn't feeling good. The night before Wasion's first team practice, junior Caden Clymer unexpectedly had to be taken to Toledo Children's Hospital. His calves were actually swelled up four inches larger in circumference than they are now. So they, he was very uncomfortable. I just wanted to go home, honestly. I, I, I didn't really care what they did to me. I just wanted to go home. Full of pain and uncertainty, Clymer received word that he had blood clots in his legs. I was really sad. Uh, I was crying and I was upset because I played football my whole life and I, I just want to play with my friends. Six feet of blood clots were removed. And because of the blood thinners he now has to take, his football career over. It was just getting ready to start practice. We were really looking forward to seeing him on Friday nights. Following nine days in the hospital, Clymer returned to the team, despite barely being able to walk. I'm really happy to be able to spend time with my friends, and uh, it means a lot to me to be able to be back on the field and have fun with them. Yeah, it was exciting to see him because we're football, so we see him like every day. So it was weird not seeing him, but it's good that he's back because we all like Clymer. Dog. He's our guy, so yeah, it's nice seeing him here. A life-changing experience that has proven the toughness of this young man. I'm very strong and I'm, I'm uh, well-minded because it, it took a lot of effort to be able to stay in the hospital for nine days straight and eat the hospital food and, and go through all those procedures and it, it really sucked. Unfortunately, Clymer's path to recovery is far from over. Not only are doctors still trying to figure out exactly what happened to Caden, but regaining strength into his legs each day comes at a price. He gets shots every day in his stomach twice a day. You know, not something fun. I don't enjoy giving them to him. I know he doesn't like getting them, but done it, you know, like you said, with a smile. So we appreciate that, and we're just glad that he's, it could have been so much worse. Now there is good news to share. Clymer has shown improvement each day and is expected to still play baseball, his favorite sport. Until then, his role remains simple. Continue progressing and inspire. Three, one, two, three. Yeah. That Caden Clymer.